is followed by state corporations and international. Your Excellency, since you came to the office, you have dignified the public service. Before you took over, Your Excellency, the public service was demoralized. They were demeaned and treated like outcasts. Your Excellency, in the last five years, senior civil servants were harassed, hounded, and treated like criminals. We have the celebrated and infamous case of Kamau Thuge, who was the PS National Treasury, who was harassed by junior police officers in full glare of cameras, marched from 10th floor of the Treasury downstairs by constables, put in a vehicle, locked up, only for them later to say he had no case. He had already been demeaned before his family, his friends, and society. Your Excellency, we want to commend you for affirming that senior public servants need to be handled with the dignity and decorum. We are not saying, by any means, that investigative agencies where there are issues of impropriety, of mismanagement, of misappropriation should not do their work. All we are saying is that before you can conclude that somebody has done something wrong, protect his or her dignity. Because these public servants have families, they have friends, they have people they go to church with, and it is wrong to humiliate them and treat them unfairly before you have a case against them. Your Excellency, since you came to office, this has not happened, and we want to urge all those who are interacting with our public servants to accord them due respect and dignity because these are the people who are the aging of your development. Finally, Your Excellency, I invite all the public servants to take time to read understand, digest the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto, the plan, so that they understand your vision, they understand your programs, and they understand the bottom-up economic transformation agenda as your tool of developing this country. Once they have understood the plan, they will make your work very easy.